major part of my job involves research and education. So I'm a professor, so I teach environmental microbiology to undergraduates here at USC. So I'm a microbiologist, and my research involves studying microbial life in the environment. So microbes are very, very tiny creatures that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. In fact, we did not know that they existed until the invention of a microscope. We're used to thinking about microbes as doing bad things and causing infection in humans, but most of microbes in us or in the environment are actually doing things that are very, very good for us. The microbes that I study are those at the bottom of the ocean and below the ocean's floor. This requires that we either take a vehicle, such as a submarine, manned by uh, humans. The submersible has manipulator arms, like hands, that can take samples and bring them back up to the surface for analysis. The other mechanism that we use to study life below the bottom of the ocean is that we drill into the ocean's floor. We collect samples that are brought up from the seafloor using a long coring device. We then um, bash them up into small fragments and we bring them back to our laboratory to conduct analyses on them. These organisms affect the chemical composition of our water resources, such as the oceans, rivers, groundwater systems. Microbes ultimately control that. And this is important for understanding how the Earth is going to respond to climate change, for example. It is only by understanding how our planet operates as a complete system that we can understand what we need to do in order to keep this planet habitable for human beings. Otherwise, we might change it so much that the only organisms left on our planet that can exist are the microbial life. I was a ballerina in my youth. My father was a flight instructor and I became a flight instructor as well. And this is really what awakened my curiosity about understanding how the planet formed and how different surface features formed. For example, lakes, mountains, rivers, streams. How did they get there in the first place? These are all questions that came up as I was flying across the surface of our planet. I didn't understand those fundamental concepts in geology and I wanted to understand them. And it just continued from, from there and led me to become a scientist. One of the reasons that I love this career so much is that I just think microbes are the coolest thing ever. Unbelievable, they can eat rocks. They can breathe rocks. I mean, how weird is that? They can use all these different compounds and live in all these different environments. And that's just the most amazing thing.